Hi all. So today in this video, we will be covering how to handle sweet alert pop-up or modern pop-up. So what do we mean by sweet alert pop-up? So if you go in Chrome, so I have actually you have to just search for sweet alert in Google and you will get different website. So I just open one website that is sweetalert.github.io. Okay. So here you can see uh, they're giving some like what is the difference between sweet alert and normal alert. So this is called normal alert or the JavaScript alert. So if I click on this so alert alert, so you can see you clicked the button. So this pop up is displayed that is a JavaScript based pop up. And if you click on OK, it will just close. So that we have already covered in 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 the previous video i believe yeah so in the previous video we already covered and uh, i think this is that alert pop-up taste alert pop-up so we have covered this different scenarios we have already covered right so you can watch that video in go by going to the playlist but now in this video we'll be discussing about what is sweet alert and how i mean uh, and what is the way to handle this kind of alert pop-up so you might have seen this kind of pop-up in many website so if you have to is it is coming like that and you have to click on ok button okay something like that and let's say you have to grab this text uh, for doing some validation so that is also possible so let's see that so let me create a uh, test so i can write test sweet alert dot no dot yeah Sweet alert and adding it and let me copy one template and let's keep it put it here okay and let's me run it right taste sweet alert okay now I can copy the URL so here I am adding this URL Okay, so I just copied this template from test refresh file and um, adding it and I am removing this part because it is not required now. Uh, so let's, uh, we just navigated to this page and now we have to click on it, right? So we have to first inspect it and uh, let me get the locator. So I can see like this is a button and also um, I can grab this text okay so text message and let's create x path for that so button uh, at the rate no not at the rate text equals to this one right so but it is not highlighting because it is not finding any unique node right so what we can do we can we can use normalize xpath so i think uh, normalize text or something like that normalize i think this is the correct one normalize text uh, let me search it normalize xpath so how do you write normal is xpath uh, okay got it so we just have to use normalize space right yeah so this is a method a normalize space within that method we are putting this text method okay and then we are giving the uh, message Okay, that's it. That is how we are. So what is happening here? Uh, the problem is like uh, you can see this so text, this so text part is having some extra spaces before and after this message, right? Before show and after show. So that is why it is not taking when you are using text equals to show success message. Uh, even we can try uh, text uh, equals to show success message. That is also we can try, but uh, we already have seen that in our previous video like text equals to show text so success message something like that and clicking on it that display right is giving us right but also we can try this one as well let's see so what is that button so success message right so success 
message right and page dot locator and adding this xpath here simple now so success message dot click so once I click on it to get this message right so let's say first we want to extract this value so good job so for that we can extract like uh, there is ID so we can write this has SWL2 swell title okay so let me uh, get the alert message equals to page dot locator and here I am adding the locator okay and uh, what we want to get we want to uh, get the text so let's print it so alert text sorry alert message dot inner text right so inner text should give us the visible text only and uh, after that uh, what I want to do uh, this is the printing I'm not asser asserting anything here because that you can try by your own and uh, let's say we can to click on this ok button after that uh, let's do that also so okay right so we can try like uh, uh, let's try this page dot locator and here we can write like button all right and here we can write has text equals to uh, okay right so dot click simple right so after that it should get closed right and uh, we are not adding any verification here so we can add a verification like good jobs text should be displayed so we can assert it something like this so assert uh, this alert message uh, equals to equals to good job Okay, let's see that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so let me so this is sweet pop up and uh, yeah, sweet alert. Okay, so we have given a slow motion of 2000 millisecond. That means two seconds and we are opening in headed mode. That means browser will be open and minus it means uh, the print output should be displayed in the console. Okay, let's run it now. So browser is launched and uh, we can now let's see what happens. So you can see that button got clicked and uh, that uh, okay it failed uh, let's see what happened and you can see this message got displayed right but some problem locator equals to what is this uh, okay let's see assertion error locator uh, name URL sweet error title good job assert title equals to message okay this message uh, what's the problem there is a problem here right alert message equals to, to good job this is not actually working what's the reason actually it printed this good job right but uh, it is not able to validate it uh okay 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 got it so what we what happened like we are actually validating this good job with that locator okay so that is the mistake we have made so let's correct it here or we can put it in a variable as well that's a better approach so let's do that uh, so let's something like that we can try a lot message text 
okay and let's print it here and let's validate it like this now let's run it mm, okay now it should click on it yeah it got clicked and still it fails let's see that oh sorry again I did a mistake and the actual one has J is it's small and this is actually good we are seeing like the failure of things right so it, it, it should happen like we should not get always success message because if we make the, our test fail then only we'll know like our test is actually working Now let's see what happens. So it clicked on it and now it clicked on the OK also I think. Yep. And uh, we can see the test got passed. Right. So I think it's good. I mean uh, this is how we can validate. Also we can like uh, after this Cloak, click on OK button I, we can validate like whether that uh, pop-up got vanished or not right I mean removed or not that is also kind of assertion we can put if there is any requirement so I mean <clears throat> I mean if sometimes it happens like in our website when I click on OK it doesn't get closed okay some bug it can be a bug okay so uh, how do you validate like uh, whether if we click on this OK button it should get closed that is also one assertion point we can add so it would be negative assertion let me try here uh, if we can add it so basically this message good job message should not be there right so this locator so let's do that uh, assert uh, is visible I think the page dot or alert message dot is is visible yeah and this should be this would become false right so that means we should put a negation not not means it becomes true so what is happening here alert message dot is visible uh, we this what what it would return it would return false right here if we if we close it when we click on ok uh, this is not visible right now right so this should be this should return true uh, sorry I'm confusing this should return false and this not will make it true okay and we can add some message as well so like um, the sweet alert pop-up does not get closed simple right let's let's run it now So it clicked on OK but uh, that message and it closed right and also it passed so our assertion is working right so if it is not uh, if it is visible then uh, it, this assertion was not working right so by this we can uh, I mean confirm like uh, our test is working correctly and that pop-up is also getting closed so I hope you like the video and uh, if you have enjoyed watching this video please do share this video and also like the channel uh, subscribe to the channel and bye